In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your HDCVI PTZ to your HDCVI DVR. Right now, I'm powering on my uh, PTZ. I connected power to the red and black uh, leads on the camera and my BNC connector. The camera is currently booting up right now, as you see. I'm going to zoom in on channel 1. And it may flicker on and off for a little while while it negotiates. Here's the camera booting up, telling you it's Address is 1, H, uh, baud rate is 9600, parity is none. Uh, depending on um, the model of the camera, it may take a few seconds to boot up. And uh, once it's done, it'll say configure done and the OSD should go away. Um, it's pretty easy to configure because all you do is you connect your camera to your DVR out of the box. Uh, if it's a 1080p DVR and a 1080p camera, it'll automatically sync and you will have to do nothing. It's as easy as connecting an analog camera. Let's say if your uh, resolution is set to be a different resolution from the get-go on the DVR. Uh, for example, if you had a 720p camera connected here, and then you connect the 1080p, um, there may be a few more steps or it may take longer. So right now I'm going to disconnect the camera. And I'm going to purposely change the resolution on here. And then reconnect the camera back to this channel. And I'm trying to simulate what the camera does. See, it says encode resolution has changed. That's all it is. The camera will, over the HDCVI signal, automatically negotiate the correct resolution for itself with the DVR. For channel one, it's back to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, um, the other thing you need to do, let's say, you want to control the PTZ. If you can't, if by simply going into the PTZ option on this channel and it doesn't move, then uh, there may, might be another step necessary based on how you left your DVR the last time. You go into main menu, go into system, PTZ, and make sure for that channel. Control mode is set to HDCVI, and protocol is set to HDCVI, and the address and baud rate match what the camera displayed when it booted up. Hit apply, hit save, and then you should be able to use the PTC controls. Uh, besides just the uh, right and left, up and down motions on the DVR, uh, of course there's a zoom. The hue is changing on the camera because we're indoors and because of the fluorescent lights. The camera tries to automatically um, set the best possible white balance on there and that causes these uh, huge changes in there. So fluorescent lights are, are troublesome for security cameras in general. The other uh, option with our PTZ cameras is the SIT function. This is the 3D targeting. You can actually draw a rectangle and zoom into uh, specific portions of your video. The camera has a little bit of jitter to it because I'm actually holding it in my hand. This is just for uh, educational purposes. Now if you want to zoom out, you can always draw a smaller rectangle and it'll let you zoom out. And then zoom back in. If you want to zoom out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.